Hi, I'm Randy Vance, Editor-in-Chief of Boating Life Magazine. I'm testing the brand new Stingray 195LX. The special thing about this boat is it's being powered by a brand new engine from Volvo Penna. It's the 3 liter GXI. This is a multi-port fuel injection engine which gives this boat excellent mid-range torque and a lot of fun for skiers. What's even nicer is check out the smooth, smooth idling of this. And past the carbureted 3 liter engines, kind of a jumpy little engine on the bottom end. They smooth out really nice, but this one is smooth all the way through. And as you put the accelerator down, this goes like a much bigger engine. It's a really nice setup, and I'm gonna walk you through the full performance characteristics of it right now. Our test boat was equipped with Volvo Penna's 3.0 liter GXI fuel injected engine. It turned a stainless steel 21 inch prop. Now part of the power on this three liter engine comes from the long intake tubes. And here's the fuel injection rails. There's a two inch fuel line here and a two inch fuel intake on the transom. That boat will take gas as fast as you can pump it. You could use an 18 wheeler pump and it would take it all. Our top speed was 46 miles per hour and we reached 30 miles per hour in just six seconds. Time to plane was a blistering four seconds. Our test convinced us this multi-port fuel injection engine is a terrific improvement over the carbureted three liter engine. It offers smoother starts, quieter idling, and much better torque in mid-range speeds. Volvo Penna uses long induction tubes to improve the airflow to the combustion chambers. This lets the small block get the most power from its multi-port fuel injection system. A side benefit of Volvo's new computerized engine is the digital throttle. Set the throttle on 3,000 RPM, an ideal skiing speed, and the engine holds that speed regardless of load. That means when a skier cuts hard to the right or the left, the boat holds its power without any required adjustment from the captain. When the captain puts the boat over in a hard over skier recovery turn, the throttle holds its speed as well without any throttle arm adjustment. It's almost like having perfect pass speed control on board. Wise boaters are mapping out their operating expenses a little closer this year. To help you do that, we put together some data on fuel burn. Take a look at the RPM chart. Naturally, the more RPMs, the more speed. Stingray consistently chooses the prop that gives the best speed and acceleration while hitting the top of the engine's RPM range. The steady climb to maximum RPMs show the engine and the prop are delivering power smoothly throughout the operating range. You always need to know how engine speed impacts fuel speeds. Here the graph climbs to just over 13.4 gallons per hour. Run your boat at that speed all day and you can expect to soar behind an empty wallet. Look how your speed and RPMs impact miles per gallon. The sweet spot for miles per gallon here is 3,000 RPMs. Bump the throttle up or down just a tick and as much as 50% more fuel will be burned. Cruise at your most economical speed and most boaters will get by for a day on much less fuel than you'll think. We found that the helm station was really set up in a sporty way as well. A nice array of Faria instrumentation. Stingray has included a digital hour meter so that you can keep track of the hours on your boat and know exactly when things like oil changes need to take place. Another nice feature is that Stingray's gone to circuit breakers instead of fuses. It makes it so much easier to track down problems and fix them quickly. When you're into the wiring of the boat, we also found an 1100 gallon per hour bilge pump. It's a rule bilge pump, and instead of having a mechanical float switch that can fail, it's got a digital switch that tests for load. If it doesn't find any, it shuts off. If it finds a load, as in there's water in your bilge, it'll pump until that's gone. Now another feature that we like on board is the MB Quart high output stereo. This one is also Sirius radio ready. We also like the fact that there's this nice little glove box here to keep things dry. You'll also notice stainless steel cup holders all over. And extra nice are the standard buckets for the captain and the passenger. Now the Stingray is not just another white boat. What we've always liked about Stingray boats is the way they perform and the style that they build in. Style like this contoured sun pad, it's really a cool look. We also like the colored insets on the vinyl. All over the boat you'll find stainless steel fittings like the latch on the glove box, pull-up cleats on the bow and midships, and you've even got stainless steel louvers on the air intakes aft and a stainless steel ladder. Altogether, it's a good look that's carried from the stern to the bow, and you've got extra great seating up there. Look at how large the cockpit is. It's like three steps from the back seat to the front seat. This is a great value in family boating and some real performance. That's why the ski locker is necessary here, and the front seating is going to be the most fun for people. You can take the breeze over the bow. 
and slip a cold drink out of the cooler. I'm gonna start it up, take the 195LX Stingray for another ride right now.